Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between William Steinitz and Simon Vinova. This amazing chess game was played in France in 1867. Steinitz had white pieces and he started with e4. Vinova played e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to c3, black to move. What variation would Vinova play? Can you guess? He played bishop to b4. His own variation was Vinava first to play this move. Well, some other players played this move even before Vinava. White to move. e5 is the most played move nowadays. Steinitz played pawn takes pawn on d5. Delayed exchange variation. e takes on d5. Bishop to d3. Bishop to e6. Knight to f3. Black to move h6, controlling g5 square. Probably more worried about knight to g5 than bishop to g5. Steinitz castled kingside. Bishop takes knight on c3, pawn takes bishop. The pawn structure is damaged, but white has a bishop pair and better development. So perhaps black can't climb a success in the opening. What do you think? The game continued. Knight to d7, rook to b1. Knight to b6, knight to e5, and the white knight is extremely well placed on e5. Knight to e7. If f6, then the queen to h5 check is extremely unpleasant. Knight to e7, and now f4, intending f5. Black really doesn't want to play g6. We never played bishop to f5. Bishop takes on f5, knight takes on f5, and black is ready to castle a king's side. Maybe. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Steinitz played bishop to a3. This move was also good at move 12, when Steinitz played bishop takes bishop on f5. Black can't castle. Knight to d6. And now f5. Black to move. And it's not easy. Knight to e4 was played. If castling, then f6, and after g takes on f6, knight to g4, and white wins. Back to our game. Knight to e4. White to move. How would you continue? Steinitz played f6. This pawn is like a battering ram, isn't it? g6. If g takes on f6, then queen to h5, and black is in trouble. Back to our game. g6, keeping the file closed and preventing queen to h5. Steinitz played queen to g4, attacking the pawn on g6. Just kidding. Queen to c8, offering to trade queens. I think we can agree that white is standing better. But how to continue? Please pause and find the way for white to improve his position. Did you pause? How would you improve the position? Are you ready to see the move? Steinitz played queen takes on g6. Wow, what a way to improve the position. I think we should call this one a killer move. Do you agree? Queen to e6. If f takes on g6, then f7 check. After king to d8, the pawn is pushed and promoted to something like queen. Then rook takes queen, rook takes rook, check, mate. Back to our game. So we have queen to e6, queen to g7, attacking the rook, and now we never castled queen's side. That was a clever escape, wasn't it? Black is now intending to use the g file to attack the white king. How did Steinitz feel about this? The legend says that he massaged his beard as if he was going to have a meal. Steinitz played knight takes on f7. Knight takes on c3. Let's examine the rook from d to g8. What did Steinitz have in mind? This is what he intended. Knight takes a rook. And after rook takes on g7, f takes on g7, intending rook 
to f8 check and then pawn to g8. If knight to f6, rook takes on f6, queen takes rook, pawn to g8, queen check, and white wins. Back to our game. In this position, we never played. Knight takes on c3, attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? Probably most players would play rook from b to e1. Do you agree? Stanitz played. Knight takes on d8. Rook takes on d8. Again, rook from b to e1 comes to mind. f7 was played. Knight to d7. Rook from b to e1. Knight to e2 check. King to h1. c5 blocking the bishop. Bishop takes on c5. Queen to e4. Pawn to f8 queen. White has two queens. How did we never feel about that? Well, he didn't like it. So he decided to kill one of them. Knight takes queen on f8. Rook takes on f8. Knight to g3 check. Queen takes on g3. If h takes on g3, queen takes rook check. White is still better, but he would have to wait longer for his lunch. Queen takes on g3. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook. And in this position, we never resigned. The reason given by chess experts was white is two pieces and one pawn up. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.